Welcome to The Growth Desk, where we explore how AI is transforming the future of wealth management, one workflow at a time. Today's guest is Chirag Gandhi, co-founder and CEO of Millie, a company turning advisor meetings into intelligent triggers that power personalized automated client experiences. We'll explore how Millie is helping firms close the gap between insight and execution, why many tech stacks maybe aren't quite ready for AI, and what it truly means to build an AI-first practice from the ground up. So, Trog, thanks so much for joining me. Thanks, Jen. All right, so let's dive in. Hardest question you'll get this entire conversation. Give me a little bit of your backstory and what led you to build Millie. Absolutely. So I actually started my career at global banks, or Deutsche Bank and Credit Suisse, built private equity risk models, worked on the derivatives trading desks, implementing stress tests, and essentially just making sure the financial plumbing worked. But what fascinated me was seeing how wealth was actually managed on the ground. Um, so moved into venture capital, spent over half a decade at New Enterprise Associates, looking at their India business. Uh, and then trifecta growth equity. Over my time, we raised and managed north of 400 million. And there was a revelation that came from working directly with wealth advisors as limited partners and while simultaneously backing tech startups. The startups were building for 2035 and tech advice and wealth advisors were stuck with tools from 2005, right? So that gap is where really where Millie was born and where we felt we could we could be helping out. And as we know, we've seen a proliferation of AI solutions in the wealth management space. How does Millie stand out in an increasingly crowded AI landscape? That's a great question. So there are two fundamental different differences. First is the architecture. Other solutions in the market, when it comes to meetings, they record these meetings and then delete the recordings. Millie does not create client recordings in the first place. Uh, we stream process and then forget like a calculator. Um, a technology head at a major broker dealer told us if there is a class action lawsuit, then recorded meetings become discoverable and innocent jokes can become weaponized, right? And SEC fines are enormous. So that's what uh, we solve for. Before Millie, you had notes and after Millie, you have notes and automated workflows. The second is we don't believe in building point solutions. So while advisors have trusted us and tested us on our meeting workflows, but Millie already today solves for multiple other workflows beyond just meeting. And that's it, that enables them to be empowered with an AI workforce, not just another tool in their tech stack. So let's dig into workflows a little bit more because I've heard you say that meetings are just workflow triggers. What does that mean and how should advisors rethink their tech stack in light of that? That's a, that's a great question again. Uh, so what we are seeing happen in the industry is um, is really that as we have processed through tens of thousands of meetings, there are action items that are coming from these meetings. Um, and advisors on the platform are now able to ask me and the access that we have, important questions. These are things like, oh, what was the name of Johnson's family trust again? Or show me all the clients that are turning 70 this year which accounts need RMD processing. So with enough context, Millie is actually able to help them execute these tasks end to end more seamlessly. So in your opinion then, are advisors tech stacks truly ready for AI? You know, what gaps or misconceptions are you seeing? The biggest challenge that we see, Shannon, is the data is today sitting in silos. The CRM does not talk to the financial planning software and that does not talk to custodian. And firms are really trying to resolve it with multiple different approaches, either with a data lake and we have a few mutual customers with a mile marker, for example, or with trying to prioritize open platforms that have already API stack that integrate with each other very well. And at Mili, we believe in all of these approaches. We want to help firms make sense out of all of these fragmented data pools and build the brain that is the AI agents on top of the nervous system. So, and as leaders at major RIAs would often tell us, by the time they build this tech internally, it's already obsolete. So that's the problem we are getting ahead of the curve. 
So what measurable impact then are Millie users seeing? Are there any surprising use cases that have emerged since its inception? First is time savings. Typically firms save three to four hours weekly per advisor. A firm also was able to eliminate a $40,000 per year role for just note taking. Second has been client insights. So Millie is able to surface patterns across tens of thousands of meetings on the platform. Things like which clients always ask about the same concerns? Who hasn't mentioned their kids uh, and their college planning in the last two years? We are also able to provide a referral dashboard where we uh, cohesively track uh, what are all the referrals that are coming into in, in these meetings. So it's like having perfect memory for every client interaction. So these are really the two, two areas we see firms getting impacted. I love that. Perfect memory. <laughs> That's what I could use, certainly. So let's look out maybe five, 10 years. What's your vision for how advisory firms will operate and what should firms be doing today to prepare for that AI powered future? So there are three clear trends that we are seeing. First is there is a massive skills gap. Young advisors who had started during the COVID era, they are brilliant with technology, right? But they miss the crucial development in reading rooms, managing the emotional conversations. And then you have senior advisors that have the soft skills, but they struggle with tech adoption. So how do you bridge the gap? Is That's an opportunity itself. The second is every advisor wants that unicorn employee, somebody that has the operations expertise and the client relationship skills, but that human doesn't exist. We believe you could personify that as an AI agent and that could really uh, deliver on both these fronts. And and the third thing is entire business model is now shifting. So the question is, where is the revenue, right? Uh, we've seen a lot of talk about AI and emerging technologies, but if you invest in any of these tech, is it actually moving your business forward? What are the hard KPIs and how do we measure ROI in a world like this so that we are not just building cool features? Uh, that That's important. <laughs> well, cool features are important too, but I think that's great insight for the future. So, Trog, thank you so much for your insights. Thank you so much, Shannon, for having me. And that wraps up this episode of The Growth Desk. A huge thanks to Chirag Gandhi for sharing how Millie is helping advisors reimagine what's possible when AI meets intentional design. So if you're ready to stop viewing meetings as one and done events and start turning them into growth engines, Millie might be the partner you've been waiting for. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on The Growth Desk where innovation meets impact.